Hello and welcome back to another video. I do realise I did not post a video last week and I do apologise for that. I have been going for interviews and other such things. But anyway, um, I've been looking at my uh, statistics for views and likes and such of my videos and noticed that surprisingly, well surprisingly to me, my glass dip pen um, inking of the robin on um, handmade paper was very very popular and it just, I really enjoyed doing it so I just thought I'd do another sort of piece. So on the other half of the handmade paper, because it originally was square, um, and just to plug my own video, if you haven't seen, if you like this video and you haven't seen um, the first one, then you should go and check it out. I will put a link in the description below to the robin. Um, but yes, I used the other half of the handmade paper from Paper Chase, um, and again, I used my um, Bartoletti, I think it is, um, glass dip pen and ink that came with the dip pen to do this kingfisher and again I use pixels for my stock photo which again is linked in the description below and yeah I just had some fun with it it was a lot more difficult than the robin the robin had mostly the same feather type you know kind of feathers you can uh, what would you say you could you could simplify and just hint that there's feathers there um, with the, the odd feather that was kind of clubbed together um, and of course the thick wing feathers but with the kingfisher there's lots of elements to it it's kind of got and obviously a lot of colours to the kingfisher as well with that blue and very stark orange on the colour there but um, I found it was quite difficult to signify the different feathers so on the head there's kind of like rif little ruffles of feathers with colouring on and then they start to get a bit more like sprayed out and then they clump up with the wing feathers and then there's the odd really really feathery feather if you, if you know what I mean I don't, I don't you probably won't know what that means um yeah so there's there's a lot of different elements to it and it was very difficult to do this but it, I just chipped away and looked at the reference photo little bit by little bit trying to get the different feathers in there without adding too much line work and in the end although I like the look of it I feel like there is a little bit too much line work in certain areas and I also didn't really add good feathers in other areas but um, yeah overall I am very happy with it and I think the only criticism I have is the log that the, the kingfish is perched on I don't really like how that turned out but I needed to kind of fill in the space below to make it kind of match the robin because um, I'm thinking of doing kind of like a series of these um, inked birds on this type of paper so I need to go and get some more paper but um, yeah I thought I'd do a series so I'm kind of making them look similar size and similar in general. Um, again with the robin I added some De La Roni FW acrylic ink um, to the breast of the robin to indicate the red um, feathers there. So with this um, kingfisher I again use the same inks but in orange and light blue and again it's very difficult to know when to stop adding colour and when to stop adding lines um, but what's good about it is obviously the colours are a lot lighter than the black line work so once I have that black line work I can easily just add little hints of colour without detracting from the actual feathers which worked out well. I liked it whilst at this stage that you're looking at now I liked it at this stage where it was black and white with no colour on but again that colour makes it pop, it makes it different, it makes it recognisable as a kingfisher um, because you know a lot of people might not know what kingfisher looks like and yeah the colours kind of show what it is same with the robin you needed that red breast to show it was a robin um, if you couldn't tell from like the beak or something <laughs> um, anyway yeah I had a lot of fun with this as I did the robin and the glass dip pen the chip that I might have mentioned in the last video um, there was a tiny tiny little chip on the tip of the glass pen so it was a bit scratchy and I think that's still there but there is one side of the tip that's smooth so it's kind of difficult sometimes um, and 
also the FW ink is acrylic ink so that dries a little bit quicker so I have to work quickly with that um, so it doesn't stain my my dip pen as you can see I'm rubbing it off there just so I didn't stain it um, but yeah I'm very happy how this turned out and yeah I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment tell me maybe suggest some other birds I'd prefer to do British birds just because I'm you know British <laughs> um, and I like to do birds that I recognize and know and um, because sometimes I feel a little bit strange kind of doing birds I'm not really familiar with um, and haven't seen myself so I'd like to do that so please suggest some birds if you know some um, obviously there's a lot of birds that are in uh, other countries that are also in Britain so I'm sure that you, some of you will think of something for me to do and I'll grab some paper chase paper to get some more and we'll work on some more um, yeah so I'd really appreciate a like thumbs up that like and a thumbs up same thing I don't know anyway I'd like um, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel to see more videos and you know if you want to um, keep on top of when I post because um, it's usually quite regular once a week not no specific day so maybe hit that bell button and you'll get a notification to tell you when I do post a video up um, and if you haven't already please check out my Robin dipped pen um, which was my last and first glass dip pen video and I suggest getting a glass dip pen in general okay I'll stop waffling now uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video portraits of famous people and things like that. A comic is very far from what I would usually do. So as you saw there I kind of used my sketchbook to sketch out some ideas of kind of like a story